Okay, recently actually quite lots of students asked me about this kind of question. I think this is a question for quadratic equation. It's a from five, I think it's a second chapter from four second chapter about the quadratic equation. I think I have few videos like this in my YouTube channel, but I just make a quick one over here. So over here you will see something like this. First you must understand what is the meaning for Yes, you must understand what is the meaning for roof, right? So, the word roof here, okay, you have to understand, this is something important. The word roof here actually means the answer of X, okay? It means the answer of X, okay? You can understand this way. So, over here he said, one roof of the equation 5x squared plus kx plus 1 equal 0 is 5 times the other roof. So it asks you to find the possible values of k. So that means you, you have a quadratic you have a quadratic equation here. And then after you solve this quadratic equation, at the end you got two answers for x. Maybe x1 equal to this one or x2 equals to the other one. So over here, the question is trying to say, yes, the answer for x for this one and the other one will be five times the answer of this one. So let's say, I call the answer for this one is a. So this one will be 5a. So this is what the question is trying to say. Because the question is trying to say is, one of the roof of the equation is five times the other roof. That means one of the answer of x of the equation is five times the other answer of the x. Okay, so you must understand roof actually means the answer of the x. Then you can actually do it quite easily. Okay, so if you can understand, that will be great. So, okay, let's see. Okay, then I, I just trying to erase this one. Okay, so, but then... In this chapter, actually, they love to use the word alpha or beta. Actually, the same meaning is A and B. Alright, so over here, what I'm trying to say is, alright, so let's say, so I have two answers. So maybe one of my answer of X, I call it uh, alpha. So the other answer of X, I will call it phi multiple alpha. This is what the question trying to say is like five times of the other roof. So in this chapter, you only have one formula which is quite important. The formula is something like called x square minus sum of roof x plus product of roof equals to zero. This is one of the very important formula in in this chapter. Alright, so yes. Oops. Uh, I'm trying to like do something to okay, but it's, it's never mind, right? So okay, let's come back to this one. So now, you sum of roof means what? These two roof you have to plus together. Now, which one is our roof? Alpha, and phi alpha is the roof. So if sum of the roof over means here means what? Means you have to do something like alpha plus phi alpha. Sum what? Sum actually mean both plus together. Alright, and then product of roof means what? This is the roof, right? Alpha and phi alpha. So product of roof is just mean alpha multiple phi alpha. Phi alpha. Uh, let me just undo a little bit. This is alpha. This one will be alpha multiple phi alpha. Okay, so yes, this is something you must understand in order to form this equation. So the other I will copy x squared minus this one x plus. So sum of roof x plus product of roof will equal zero. Okay, so then it asks you to find the possible values of k. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. So basically, you have got something like x squared minus like six alpha x. This one is something like plus. Oops, why I write that? That one should be. Uh, so x squared minus six alpha x so this one will be plus phi alpha square equals to zero All right so you got something like this and then what you need to do is you're going to compare this one with the equation they gave you 
So over here, it gives you some equation like 5x squared plus kx plus 1 equals to 0. So what you need to do is, you're going to change, you're going to try to change this equation into this pattern. This is what you're trying to do. It's going to change this one into this pattern. Mean you have to like x squared minus sum of root x plus product of root. Then you can do the comparison over here. Okay, so I'm going to like start to change. So first thing is I will divide 5 for everything. So I've got x squared plus k over 5 x plus 1 over 5 equals to 0. Okay, now I got x squared only, so it's quite similar already. But then the second thing important about this formula is this symbol must be minus. You cannot have plus over here. So I have to change this one to minus. So you see what will happen is, I know negative, multiple negative will give me positive. So I write negative k over 5. x plus 1 over 5 equals to 0. So can you roughly see the pattern? So over here, I know actually I already in this pattern x square, x square minus minus sum of roof, sum of roof, x x plus plus, and this is product of roof, product of roof. So from here, I know this one is sum of roof, and this one will be product of roof. So some reference book might straight away do something like this. If they got sum of roof equal to this one, right? So sum of the reference book, they will start to write something like this. Sum of roof is equal to negative k over 5. So sum of roof is what? Alpha plus 5 alpha, right? We already we already done it, which is 6 alpha. Of course, you can still write alpha plus alpha, but we done it already, so it equals to negative k over 5. So of course, I can make k as a, uh, I can make alpha as a subject, maybe. So alpha is just negative k over 30. This one will be the my first equation. So later, I'm going to substitute in. So then I continue. What is my product of roof over here? So my product of roof is just 1 over 5. So product of roof, I solve it already. It's alpha multiple 5 alpha, right? So it's 5 alpha square will equal to 1 over 5. Then, yeah, then you have to solve it. My alpha is this one, right? So what I will do is, I will continue here. So what I will do is, I substitute 1 into 2. 2. So what I will have is, I've got 5 alpha square is negative k over 30 square equals to 1 over 5. So basically, this one you can simplify. So I move the 5 to the other side, it will be like 1 over 25. And this one I just square, I will got k squared over 900. Negative, multiple negative become positive. So then you can easily get k squared. You have to move the 900 to the other side over 25. Then you can press the calculator and then you can easily get the answer for k. So it's 900 divided by 25. So basically you got 36. So from here to here, so you got k squared equals to 36. So I know square move to the other side is square root 36. But you as an MX student must remember your square root must have positive negative. So your k will get positive negative 6. That's mean you got two answers positive 6 and negative 6. Alright, so therefore this kind of question is not really hard. Yeah, he asks you to find the possible values of k. Whenever you see the possible values of k, mean most of the time you have more than one answer of k. Right, so I just repeat one more time. So it's it's very simple. First, of course, the important part is you you must get the idea about this one. Means you must get the idea about this one. The x one is the alpha. The other one is five time of the other one. Okay, this one can be changed to any pattern one. Some sometimes they will say, hey, one of the roof is like half of the other one. So maybe this is alpha, this one will be half alpha, one over two alpha. Sometimes it's like three times, sometimes it's like five times. It's very depend one. So but you understand the meaning of roof is the answer of x. The whole question will seem much more easier. Alright. So and then please re remember about this formula. This is one of the most important formula in this chapter. So this formula you got two key points over here is the first is 
the x square must equal to 1. The coefficient of x square must equal to 1. You cannot have negative x square on 3x square over here. And this symbol must be negative. Right. After you understand about this formula already, then actually you no need to actually do this step. You can straight away change the 5x square plus kx plus 1 into this pattern. Yeah, I do this step because just because I want to show you. I mean actually in the exam you can straight away take this equation, change into this pattern, and then take out the sum of roof and product of roof. So after you take out ready, it's very easy. You must understand sum of roof means the x plus uh, alpha plus phi alpha. Product of roof means alpha multiple phi, phi alpha. Then you solve it using simultaneous equation. You can easily get the correct answer. Alright, I hope this short video actually will give you some idea on how to solve this kind of question. Alright, thanks for watching.